Welcome to Las Vegas, everybody. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. My name is Dave Vellante. I'm Stu Lena, man, here with my co-host, Keith Townsend. I'm Lisa Martin with John Troyer. Coverage of Dell Technologies World 2018. Thanks so much for having us here, and thanks for joining us on theCUBE. Oh, great to be here. Thank you guys for all the great coverage. You always do a wonderful job. Loads of people here, 14,000 in attendance, 6,500 partners, analysts, press, you name it, it's here talking about all things transformation. We have this incredible platform that's been built over the last 30 years, but now there are all these new enabling technologies that are going to take it much further. The superpowers are coming together. The compute is now big enough, the data is now voluminous enough that we can do things never possible before. Obviously a very good couple of years mm -hmm. since the Dell EMC merger, it's really helped us. Their companies have come together, right? And, and, the, and the offerings have come together, together in a much more integrated fashion. This is yeah. just one of the most fun shows. I mean, obviously it's important for us to set our vision, but you see things like the bean bags and sitting out there, the therapy dogs. They're working. So yeah. to be able to take a break and just spend some time breathing with some animals, really, really good. And, and then really experience the fun in the Solutions Expo. I'm a car guy, so you, you know I'm a great player, right? Yeah. yeah. And talking about the way that we're taking plastic trash out of the ocean and making art with it. Top Golf is a great VxRail customer. We have uh, goal control. Try to beat the AI and see if you can score a goal. I mean, there's some very cool demos back there. Right behind me, we have our partner lounge. We're hosting over 800 one-on-one -on -one meetings with Dell EMC executives or the partner executives. So it's a combination of technical training, networking executive meetings, obviously product launches and announcements that we're bringing to market, the opportunity to really cultivate and work globally in our Global Partner Summit. So it's a pretty active week. The power of all of our capabilities. We're powering up the modern data center. The magnitude shift and what this portfolio can now do for our customers, it's mind boggling. We've been talking for years about data as the rocket fuel of the economy and of tr business transformation. And now we're really talking about data combined with those emerging technologies. So things like AI, IoT, blockchain, which are really taking that data and unlocking the business value. Data is the uh, precious metal, it's the, it's the crucial asset. The whole world is going to be wired. Everything is going to have sensors outside of data center environments. That's where all the data is going to be produced and that's where decisions are going to be made. And we have all kinds of data. We've got structured data, unstructured data, and now it's important that we actually get all the disparate data into a format that can now be executed upon. The business strategy really is the IT strategy, and for that to happen, we really have to bring our IT talent up the stack into where it's really enabling the business, and that's usually at that application layer. It makes it more agile, removes cost, reduces complexity, makes the planet more green. We think we've got a long way to go in just building that private cloud, making the data center feel like a cloud. That's priority number one. Priority number two, extending to the hybrid cloud. The benefit of the fact that it is hosted in the cloud means that customers don't have anything to deploy, and just like your smartphone, you get all of the latest upgrades with no effort at all. Seamless process to scale quickly when you have new hotels coming online, for example. From a storage administrator perspective, you can focus on much more strategic initiatives. You don't have to do the day-to-day -day management. You don't have to worry about what data sitting where. You don't have to worry about how much of the different media types you've put into that array. You just deploy it and it manages itself. You can focus on more tasks. This is the realest first step of actually trying to be truly autonomous storage. It took so much time to do it before that I'd have to run my guys ragged for you know two or three weeks. I'm like, all right, stay up overnight, make sure it all copies. <laughs> that means value to customers. That's money uh, that they're saving directly. There's a portfolio effect where customers look across everything that we're doing. They say, you know, I don't really want to deal with 25 little companies. I, I want to have a bigger relationship with Dell Technologies. And of course, the dirty secret is, is that almost all of the cool new apps are some ugly combination of new and old. You don't want to have to have some other interface to go to. It just has to be a natural extension of what your day-to-day -day job is. You'll get this dashboard kind of health score across the entire environment, then you'll see the red, yellow, green type markings on what to do next. The isolation piece of the solution is really where the value comes in. You can use that for analysis of that data in that clean room to be able to detect early on problems that may be happening in your production environment. The alternative, one, one product for everything. 
we've always chosen not to go that path. Give them the flexibility to change, whether it is NVMe drives or any kind of SSD drives, GPUs, FPGAs. And the relevance of what we are doing has never been greater. If they can sustain a degree of focus that allows them to pay down their debt, do the financial engineering, and Tom Sweet's a stud. Hey, I want you to take economics out of your decision about whether you want to go to the cloud or not, because we can offer that capacity and capability. It depends a lot around the customer environment, what kind of skill sets do they have, are they willing to you know, help you know, go through some of that do-it-yourself uh, type of process. Obviously, Dell EMC Services is there to help them. You can't have mission critical, all this consolidation without data protection. If they're smart enough to figure out where your backups are, you're left with no protection. So we really needed to isolate and put off network all that critical data. We have built into PowerMax the capabilities to do a direct backup from PowerMax to a data domain. And that gets you that second protection copy also on a protection storage. It is no longer just about protecting the data, but it's also about compliance and visibility. It's about governance of the data. It's really about management, making it available. So those are trends in which I think this, uh, this industry is going to basically evolve over time. You come to Dell Technologies world and you see this amazing, dizzying array of new things and you're like, wow, that sounds great, but how do I do it, right? <laughs> Train them, enable them, package it for them. I know the guys offer you where you can go in and to a classroom kind of facility for a day and see it in action before you actually purchase and use it. We want them to engage in the hundreds of technical sessions that we have, but still come away with, I wish I could have gone to some more, right? <laughs> and, and so we, we have all those online. And, and you know, for us, this is also big ears. We're listening and we're learning, we're hearing from our customers. And I know I'm a little, maybe a little smaller than some of your others, but you still treat me like I'm, and you still listen Absolutely. to me. I bring you ideas, you say, this fits. And so it's very, very exciting to have a partner that does that with you. Do all of your reference calls, see it for yourself. I mean, I take quite a number of reference calls because people are in the same boat I was. You know, I'll screen share with them. If they want to see our numbers, I'll show them. This is the opportunity for all of us. Embrace, whether it's in the cube or through the sessions, learn, adjust, because everybody's modernizing. Everybody needs to transform. This is a great opportunity for them to do that with their skill set and their knowledge in the industry. If everything you did worked perfectly, you're not trying enough stuff. You need a change agent, you need a champion, most likely at the senior level that's going to really ride through this journey. First three months didn't make a whole lot of progress. I was just yelling like a madman to say, why is it not getting done? And then you have to go back into, I have to hire the right people. So let's talk a few things. I made changes to the leadership team. You need more role models. You need to get rid of and totally eliminate the harassment and the bullying and the, you know, old boys kind of club. You got to create places where women and, and minorities feel like they can be themselves. Culture plays a huge, huge, huge role. There's just a wealth of enormously talented people now in, in, in our company ultimately creating a shared vision and an inspiring vision for what we want to do in the future. You either embrace it, okay? You either stand on the sidelines or you leave. The most creative of people, from Leonardo da Vinci to Einstein, Ben Franklin, but Steve Jobs, all love both the humanities and the sciences. They stand at that intersection of sort of liberal arts technology. You got to interview Ashton Kutcher, yeah. which was quite amazing. He's an unbelievable, people don't, maybe not, don't know. No. He's an investor, he's kind of a geek, yep. right? Even though he's... You know. Engineer by training. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we just know that when you bring together a diverse group of individuals, you always get to a better answer for your customers. You do. Place your bets on Dell Technologies. That's the right partner for you. It's gonna, it's gonna move you and your company. Michael's got the right vision of where this is going. He's got the right technology to do it, and we've got great team members to help you get there. <laughs> simple, predictable, profitable, right? That's right. Keep it that, it's really that simple. We need a few more thousand uh, salespeople. So if you're, if you're really talented, you know how to sell stuff. You know, come, 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 join us at Dell Technologies because we're, we're hiring more salespeople. The future. As Bob DiCrincenzo said today, wicked cool. All right, everybody, that's it from Dell Technologies World. I love you guys. It's always great to be on theCUBE. You guys do a fabulous uh, uh, job you know, you. for uh, live tech coverage, and it really has been a lot of fun. We appreciate you and your team being here. But next year, we're going to go party for your 10 year anniversary that's right. of theCUBE. Love it. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE again. Lisa Martin with John Troyer. I'm Stu Miniman. This is Keith Townsend. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.